ओके द नेक्स्ट इंटरेस्टिंग बट अ वेरी सिंपल सॉर्टिंग अलगोरथम इज कॉल्ड सेलेक्शन सॉर्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू वाई द वर्ड सेलेक्शन कम्स यूर लेट्स टेक ए सिंपल एग्जाम्पल राइट इट्स यू आई हैव एन अनसॉर्टेड एरे लाइक दिस विच इज टू एट वन सिक्स सेवन फोर एंड फाइव Let's assume this is my unsorted array. Now, what selection sort does is look, look at, look at, look at the indexes that I have or the indices that I have for this matrix, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is index one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what do I do first? First, I start with. So I start from here, right? I compare each. I compare two with the next element. so in the first iteration in the first iteration in the first pass or in the first iteration i want to find the minimum element i want to find the minimum element right so for that what do i do i keep comparing so i compare 2 with 8 right 2 is smaller then i compare 2 with 1 now 1 is smaller right now i compare 1 with 6 1 is still the smallest element now i compare 1 with 7 1 is still the smallest element 4 One is smaller, five. One with smaller. So in the first iteration, I compare to find the smallest element, right? So when I find the smallest element, now this is the smallest element. This is my smallest element, and this is the index of the smallest element. Okay, this is the index of the minimum element. Let's call this I min, right? This is the index of the smallest element. Now what I'll do is. i will swap the first element with the smallest element so what do i get now at the end of this first iteration i get 1 2 8 6 7 4 and 5 okay this is what i get at the end of first iteration or first pass because in the first pass i found the smallest element right 3 4 5 6 so this is index 1 this is index 2 index 3 index 4 index 5 index 6 index 7 Okay. Once I found the smallest element, I swapped the first element now with the minimum element. Now, if you notice, this array is already sorted. Okay, this array is already sorted, or in other words, the smallest element is already here. Now, what I'm left with is the rest of this array. So I'll just ignore this. Now, amongst these remaining elements, I'll find the smallest element again. I start the same way. I'll compare two with eight. Two is smaller. I'll compare two with six. Two is smaller. Two with seven. Two is smaller. Two with four. Two with five. This is the smallest element. Since this is the smallest element, and two is the index of the smallest element in the leftover array, there is nothing to do, right? Now what? what now what am I left with? Because this is already there. So I have one, two, eight, six, seven, four, and five. Now if you notice these two. these two are actually in the place they should be because this is the smallest element and this is the second smallest element now i am left with these rest of these elements okay so let's take this now i'll take this i'll start comparing 8 with 6 6 is smaller 6 with 7 6 is smaller 6 with 4 4 is smaller 4 with 5 4 is smaller okay now i got the now i got the index of my minimum element now i got the index of my minimum element to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is my sixth element so i'll swap these two now i will swap these two now when i swap these two what do i get i get 1 2 4 6 7 8 and 5 right this is what i'm left with now so now if you notice let let me just draw these bars right now if you notice first element second element third element fourth fifth sixth and seventh now if you notice my first three elements are already sorted so first three elements are sorted now right now i need to find the fourth smallest element again i keep repeating it now what do i do now i take this i start comparing it 6 with 7 6 is smaller 6 with 8 6 is smaller 6 with 5 5 is smaller so i swap these two okay so what do i have 1 2 4 5 7 8 6 and 6. now here these four are already sorted these are left out again amongst these three i'll find the smallest element that will be 6 so swap these two now so swap these two right 1 2 so what will i be left with i'll be left with 1 2 4 5 6 7 and 
Now I know that this whole thing is sorted. I'm only left with these two. This I'll compare with this. I think this is smaller, so I'm left with this. I'm only left with one element, so that must be the largest element. Right? So this whole sorting algorithm is called as selection sort because in every pass or in every iteration, you are selecting the smallest element. You are selecting the smallest element the, the or the minimal element. You are selecting the smallest or the minimal element, right? And you are in, in the leftover array. That's important. In the leftover array. In the leftover array, right? Because after first iteration, this is already taken care of. In the leftover array, I find the smallest element and I select it and I literally place it here. That's what I'm doing. That's why it's called the selection sort because I'm in each iteration or each pass, I'm selecting the smallest element in the leftover array and I'm placing it at the right location. Very, very simple algorithm. Now, if you look at its code, its code is also very simple. Its code is also very straightforward. This is a C implementation. Okay. Very straightforward code. Again, there is a nice animation here on Wikipedia. I'll provide a link to this Wikipedia page. I mean, this the coloring is red is the current item. Yellow is the sorted list and blue is the, also the current item. Okay. Red is the current minimum item. Look at this. Now, six is the minimum. Three is the minimum. So three got placed. It's moving very fast. But if you take a little while, this is your sorted array. Everything in yellow is a sorted array. Your red is the minimum element and blue is the current element that you're comparing with. Very simply speaking, right? So very nice demo here on Wikipedia. There's also a very simple implementation. The simple implementation is straightforward. Look at this. You have this for loop here. Look at this. You have this for loop here, right? You have this for loop here that is going from here to here, right? So what am I doing here? One thing that you have to notice is, sorry, this for loop goes on till not here. So let's go through, let's go through the whole loop itself so that it's clearer. Okay. This for loop is from here to here, actually. This for loop is from here to here. So what am I saying? I'm starting from zero to n minus one. In C, arrays index, array indices start from zero and not from one. So you start from zero to n minus one, right? And you, you make your minimum index element to be J, right? Now your J, so this is what you will call. So your J will go from zero to n minus one. You'll say that this is my minimum element. Now you'll compare from the next element. This is your J plus one element up to n. Okay, you'll compare this with each of these elements. Okay, you'll compare this element with each of these elements. Look at this code. Okay, your J goes from zero to n minus one, right? Your index of the minimum element in, at the start is J itself. Then you're comparing this minimum element. Look at this, this minimum element or a J you're comparing with all the elements from J plus one up to N, right? If something is found to be minimum, you change the index of I minimum to the smaller element, right? Very simple code. This is basically a loop in a loop, very straightforward code. This first loop tries to basically go through each of these items. This first loop basically says, first, I'll try to find the first minimum element, then the second minimum element, then the third minimum element. That's what this outer loop is doing. This inner loop here, this inner loop here is whatever is the leftover array, whatever is the leftover array, it is trying to find the minimum element in the leftover array. That's what this inner loop is doing. And I min is basically at the end of this loop, at the end of this for loop, this inner for loop, your I min will point to the smallest element. It will give you the index. It will give you the index of the smallest element in your leftover array. As soon as you're done, right? If I min is not equal to J, you simply swap them. Right? Very simple code, nothing very fancy here. This is a simple for loop within a for loop. Right? Very, very straightforward code, nothing fancy. Okay, so your J is basically initially going to be one. So if you try to dry run the whole thing, what you'll notice here is here your j will be one. Okay, in this case, your j is going to be one. Your i will go from two to seven. Right? Now, in the second iteration, your j will be two. Okay, now you'll compare the second element with all these elements. In the third iteration, your j will be three. 
Of course, in this case, our indices start from one, while in the code, because this is C code, the indices start from zero. Okay, but the logic is the same, very simple. In each pass, you're trying to find the minimum element and place it at the jth location. Simply put. 